Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So the first thing I want to do is apologize for not recording anything for the past little while. It's been really tough. Um, I've been uh, still working at home. Can't get back into the office yet. They're buying me a new machine for work, so uh, I gotta wait for that to get in. Um, but it's been really like the, really hot here and I've been working in the attic, so it's been a like a furnace up here. So the only time I'm able to work is like in the middle of the night. So I've been working through the nights and sleeping in the days. So I haven't had much time to record, but it is the weekend now. So and a little cooler. We had a nice rain yesterday, so that was nice. So um, it's a little cooler. So I'm going to try to get a bunch of episodes recorded and get them posted. Um, uh, also, the second thing too, if you hear a little bit of a fan noise going on in the background, that's just uh, my computer. I think the bearings are going in my uh, power supply. Uh, fans so if you hear that in the background that's what that is um, but without further ado let's jump into a battle we I've been and like antsy about getting this victor into a battle uh, we kind of left it hanging after that last episode which is kind of sad but it, that's unfortunately the case uh, so let's go to clean out the mercs uh, it's supposed to be a single well-armed lance mercenary outfit most likely to be two lances but we're gonna take this one for the pirates the payouts nice and we're going to negotiate, we're going to go full salvage, and we're going to send in our second lance this time. Um, so let's put out the first lance, because I want to see how that, uh, we're going to give, where are you here? i got to remember now what we were doing here. Uh, okay, um, where are you? Scramble, okay. Uh, earthquake, um, where are you here? Focus, Swifty, and then we're going to go with the Victor, we're going to go with the Bushwhacker, we're going to go with the Mian Shen, or Men Shen, and then the Centurion. And we're going to see how this does. I think this will be fine. I think we got a good, uh, I mean, this is like heavily, heavy auto cannon, we've got the large VSPL on here. So let's see how this goes. Uh, hopefully it's not a long fight, because if it is, we could be in a little trouble with ammo. But other than that, let's just give this a shot and see how we do. All right, here we go. Facing professionals, eh? Well, we're professionals too. Yeah, we got the height advantage. That's one bonus. Uh, what are we looking at down here? I don't know. It kind of looks like a clint or something, or... Well, we'll find out soon enough. Keep them off balance, eh? Dry here. Bone dry. Yep. Bone dry. All right, so... Looks like they're probably... Maybe it only, maybe it is only one lance right down in here. Um, well, we got a lot of direct fire weapons, so fighting from the hill is not an option. Um, so let's get down towards yep. this way. Moving out. I think everything we have, with the exception of the Men Shen, is direct fire. So. It's kind of sad that the Victor is basically an, a uh, upscaled Centurion. It just it's the same model, unfortunately. Affirmative. Okay, there we go. What do we got here? Looks like a Raven or something. Cougar, Wolf found. And okay, so it's not so bad. This is supposed to be three skulls, so. Um, Let's get you up here. The Gauss Rifle and ER Mediums probably do better from a bit of a height advantage. Um, MMLs. We want to get into SRM range. So let's move into here. And you, we want to get into range too. So let's get into here. I read you, Commander. Moving out. We're going to stay up on the hill, I think. I don't think we're going to go down. As long as we have a direct fire line of sight, we should be able to pull these guys apart from up here. They're fast, though. 23. We'll found Cougar. He's going to heat up real quick. You know, the benefit too of having a lot of uh, ballistic weapons is we're going to be running pretty cool. Pretty cool overall. I think if we just turn off one laser or whatever, we should be good. Except for the large VSPL. Alright. Not too bad. Okay. We only got one, eh? Only got one, huh? 
I think we can turn that laser AMS on the Victor into overload, so it should cover everybody else. Minor damage, Commander. It's a Raptor. All right, they are fast. They got one more guy here somewhere. LRM five. Oof, that's nice. Where'd that come from, though? Doesn't matter. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. We got our uh, movement uh, nerfed here. Let's get into the trees for protection. Let's switch it up a little bit. We're going to fire on the Raptor. Um, could try to heat him up. Or we could just go for damage. Whew. Let's leave the barrage off. Uh, I'm going to leave the ERs off so we can get our heat down. We've only got this guy for applying heat. So let's go for a bit of damage on this guy. Fire. Okay. Alright. Good to go. Could have been better. Who can we get from the side? The cougar, eh? Hmm. Still the same. Let's get into here. And let's get... Ooh, what do we got over here? A raven. Alright, let's get on their wolfhound. Uh, we've only got Apollo ammo with this thing, so we're going to fire the ultra. Uh, let's go with one. We don't want to jam. we got a low chance to hit. If we got a higher chance to hit, we'll go with two, but... Give him a hello there. Oh. On my way. I want this guy gone. So let's go after this guy. We've only got cluster ammo for the AC-10. But this thing is built for an AC platform. So if we can get an Ultra-20, that'd be beautiful. Or if we can get more Rack-20 ammo, that would be nice. And the heat, actually, if you look at it, heat actually isn't that bad and this is a hot planet too so we're gonna go with everything though I want to see what what kind of damage we can do right off the bat okay looks like we missed the lasers Orders. okay quakey 12% um, eh 59 over here though we're gonna sit here and take this we're gonna fire on this guy Got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think those hit the building, though. I think the lasers hit the building. At least we hit with the gas rifle. I don't think we got any of them. Oh, we got five of them. Not bad. Heavy armor ammo 10 Apollo unjammed, eh? Ooh, they penetrated. Damn, we got to get out of there. Reporting structural damage. Yeah, no kidding. They got good pilots, but uh, lighter machines. They're really going after the Centurion. How hot is this guy? We're gonna go after this guy with the uh, Men Shen with the uh, Infernos, I think. You're not liking him very much. You can see daylight through my armor. That's where our Ultra 10 is too, right there. Why is it the Centurion? People just don't like the Centurions. I don't understand why you guys don't like Centurions. Do we keep on this guy? This guy really is a threat though. Let's get into here. Look at the chances to hit on this thing, though. Fucking, pardon my language, but crazy. This thing is crazy. All right, we'll fire everything on this guy again. Ah, uh, the big one missed. X pulse hit, though. Waiting for orders. Uh, 
Uh, this vigilance. Uh, wait, is it our left side this damage? No, our right side's damage. Let's get over here like this. Get a shot on this go. Oh, wow, really? far can we go? We can get down to here. Let's just move Fire over here. Yeah, oh, God, really? All right, we're just going to fire on this guy. It's all building damage. Oh. All right, let's do this. Oh shit. Are you serious? I clicked on sprint. Well, nothing I can do about it now. All right. Well, we deal. Commander? We deal. Marginally better this turn. I think we can't not fire. Ah, frig. Problem is we can't expose ourselves. <sighs> These guys can come around. I mean, we could reserve. We've got good initiative this turn, though. 23, 22. Tell you what, let's reserve. Keep our two chevrons of evasion in case those guys do want to shoot at us. that help a little bit. Oh, you want to go? You want to go? Is that what you want to do? It's just that little bit of lagginess to it when you click. Oh man. Okay. Let's do this. Move on out. And rather than taking the low percentage chance to hit on this guy, which will probably only add like I mean if we switch to Inferno, we're probably gonna only add a couple points of heat to him, although his arm is severely damaged too, right? Um We could take a gamble and go this route. Just unload everything on him and hope we get that arm. It's unlikely though. It's got about, what, 20 points left on it? We have to get very lucky. Let's hammer him and see what we can get out of this. I'm going to leave the rockets off though. Okay, the barrage was in the right area. Did we actually hit him? No, we missed him. It's in the right area. At least he's running through heat now. Still gonna shoot though, eh? At least you're shooting the victor. Okay, I knew this was gonna be challenging. Oh, you got the cool and flush going. Knew it was gonna be challenging, I just didn't think it would be this challenging. Okay. I think we got lucky there. Alright, Swifty. Waiting for orders. Um
Yeah. Just not, don't move. Nah, really? A couple points, okay. That's fine. Damage minimal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's not the best positioning. Roger that. But we got a shit ton of back armor. So we're going to go after this guy. We're getting close to that heat level, but we got to take this shot. Oh, 130. There you go. There you go. Problem one solved. Coolant flush. Beautiful. How, how's our arm doing? Oh, not bad. I mean, like, we got lots of back armor, so even if that guy shoots us from behind, the chances of him taking us down are probably pretty low. I say probably because... You know me and my luck. Um, we only got one. Can't see the cougar anywhere, huh? It's going to make it harder for us to hit, but I think we need to get in closer with this guy to start using some of his armor. Let's just take a sh pot shots at this guy. Oh, yes! That Goss rifle, man, I'm telling you. It's been working out well. I've, In the past, I haven't had a very good track record with Goss Rifles. But this one seems to be working pretty well on this Bushwhacker, so... I'm kind of shocked, because like I said, in the past, you know, the Goss Rifle builds have been sort of mediocre. Alright, Minshen's going to take a time out here in a second. You didn't move, did you? You did not move. Right here. Mm -hmm. We're just going to moonwalk it back here. Target you. We got the coolant flush going on, so we should be okay. And let's hammer this guy hard. On the trigger. Mm -hmm. Now, I have no idea what hit and what didn't there. Yeah, I think the big one missed. Okay. Good to go. Are ya? Uh, we're gonna switch these out to LRMs. Location confirmed. What the? Well, let's make it easy for them. Why not, eh? Let's just make it super easy for these guys, because what the hell? So, left side... Wait. Uh, left side towards enemy. Moving to position. Left side towards enemy. Remember, I have to put a big sticker on this thing so I don't forget. Alright, uh, let's go with this. And firing. Yeah, man. That's his damage. Oh, his arm's gone. Beautiful. Beautiful. Receiving you. Okay, Quakey, uh, you can move down now. So let's get in to... Where can we see? Can we see this guy? We can, barely. 24, huh? It's a side shot at 22. 30. All right, let's go after this wolfhound. Get our stability back. This guy, let's... Pr Ooh, that's beautiful. Prey on the weak. On yeah, man. Yeah, man. I wonder if they moved forward out of that barrage because they knew it was coming. Yes. That's what I wanted. Light damage, Commander. That's what I wanted. Use up some of that armor that hasn't been hit yet. This guy's running. Yeah, you don't got much left, do you? Good thing we've got the height advantage. That's the one thing I will say. All right, uh, Swifty. Commander?
this is putting me in a weird position. But we got to do it. Uh, let's go Ultra on this guy. See if we can get a hit on him. No. It's alright though. Those MRMs are a pretty good backup weapon. They're the Apollo uh, ammo. Yeah, that's my fault. Sorry, buddy. They got the Apollo ammo on it, so it's... Uh, What's up, Commander? Gives it a bit of... Um, a little bit more accuracy. Let's get into here. Piece of cake. Got some flames on us, but that's okay. Let's pull these guys off. 10% with dead fire, huh? What's the SRMs like with the uh, Artemis? 21, eh? Alright, let's go that route. Not looking for a knockout blow on that guy, just looking for enough damage on him to keep him out of the battle. Make him think twice about moving in. Can we get a shot in this cougar? We can. Flames on the way though, but we'll take it. Next on fire. So is the pilot. Wow. Let's go this route. We're gonna go for the better chances to hit and just fire at this guy. Ooh, nice shot. A critical hit. Mm. Ready for orders. 18, huh? Gonna put you right here. On my way. See if we can get that cougar to move to shoot you. We're gonna shoot this guy. Locked on. Whoa, two laser hits. Nice. Heavy armor M Apollo unjammed. Let's see if we can get that in this battle. I think we've got cougar parts, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure we do. Ooh! Ow! What the hell has this thing got on it? Waiting for orders. Whatever it's got, it's gotta go. Let's fire at it. Got it. Okay, we hit with one. Nice. Yeah? What can I do, you fool? Okay, our heat's down. We're gonna unload everything on this guy. He's badly damaged. Hopefully we can take him out. Okay, one of the lasers hit. A lot of missiles. Nice. I'm out of short range missiles. That's alright. That's alright. Oof. What armor? You didn't have any armor in that location. What you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? How's this thing doing? Let's go with a better chance to hit. See if we can pull the cougar out. Well, there goes his arm. Leg, torso, whatever the hell it was. Right arm. Let's go on this guy. Let's try and clear him up. On it. Oh yeah, good hits. See ya. All right, beautiful. Down to two. Yeah, that could have been bad. I wanna, I want I think that guy, I don't know if he's got a large VSPL, but he's got something heavy. Got it. 
Okay, so the Ultra is still unjammed, which is beautiful. We're going to fire on this guy. Okay, a lot of MRM hits. Critical hit, Commander. This guy's stressing out too. Commander. That's in the fire. That's not. Let's get up here a little bit. Heading out. And let's go after... Where's the Cougar? He's stressing out, right? So let's go after this guy. I'm going to switch these to Infernal, though. I don't want to totally kill this guy. But let's drop the Barrage down there, too. We got it back, so we might as well. Ah, oh, wow, this guy's really... Let's just see what happens. Well... We can salvage that. Yes, Commander. I just want to get out of here in one piece. I don't want to lose any gear. Let's just fire straight on this guy. Target acquired. Man, that Goss rifle. Bombast laser. That's what it was. Reporting. Critical hit. I copy. This guy's all yours, girl. Firing at him. Miss with the big one. That's okay. Right leg destroyed. It's going down. Um, can we get a eyes on this guy? Oh, we can. Let's do this. And then we will go like this. See if we can get a headshot. Come on. Hit, Commander. He's stressing. I'm hoping he tries to bail out. Receiving you. Focus. Infernos, going after the head, leave these off. See what happens. Engine destroyed, okay. Good enough. We'll take it. Mission successful. All right, contract payment increased by, well, by nothing, but we got, we made 353,000. Uh, let's see here. Centurion took a bit of damage. I don't think we took any component damage. Though. I think we got really, lu really lucky on this. It says the right leg took something, but we'll have a look at that. So yeah, not too bad, I guess. Let's see what our salvage is like. All right, Raven parts, Raptor parts. We could put a whole Raven together. This was the one with the Bombast, right? That might be worth it. Pirate ER mediums. Now, we can't get any more of these. We got three of them. Heavy MRM-10. Yeah, because we, we've only got three pieces, three salvage, so we can't get a full Raptor. Heavy MRM-10 is a possibility. I'm just going to drop it there for now. Medium Heavy Laser Pirate. 35 damage, 20 heat. Volatile, recoil of one. Yeah, maybe. A couple of Medium X Pulses. Man, I'm telling you. Oh, the TSEM Cannon, too. Six tons for this. 30 heat, though. I wonder if that, oh, I don't know, it's six tons. I was going to say it might be worth taking a look at putting this on the, uh, on the um, lamb mech. But that means we have to take a lot of stuff off it to put this in. So it's a possibility. Although I do like these two medium X pulses. The medium VSPLs, 90 damage is pretty good. 60 heat though. Thing about this is that these guys are half the weight. I know it's only 45 damage. We can put two of these on for less heat and more range and better accuracy. Now it's not giving you a big knockout punch like this is. But if you can't use it, like if it's not that accurate, I, w I wasn't finding that big gun, uh, the large VSPL that we had, all that accurate. We'll see though. Oh man, computer gunnery. Computer tracking. Compact heat six cooling jacket. Minus one recoil. Minus 15% weapon heat generated. Does this go on a specific location? Yeah, around wired around arm actuators. I must say I'm actually impressed by this. If it doesn't blow up, that is. That's actually pretty cool. Let's throw it there for now. 
gunnery support beam. There's a lot of stuff here that would be nice. Prototype double heat sinks. Wow, we got 11 of them. All right, I was going to say heavy MRM Apollo ammo. So how much does the heavy MRM damage? Oh, it's three tons, eight damage times 10. What's the jam? 20% jam chance mitigated by gunnery. So, I mean, we could go that route. And then roll the dice. Or we could go to, we could leave the heavy MRM-10 out. Put two medium X-pulses in and a T-SEMP cannon. I can, the, the medium X pulse as a weapon, looking at it right now, I, I'm thinking it's probably it's the go-to weapon. Two tons, one slot, twenty heat, forty-five damage, range of two forty, but plus one accuracy and one evasion pip ignored. Like it really is the old like uh, I know I said the uh clan ER large lasers were it before, but I think I know this thing doesn't have range, but still the tonnage per heat per damage per accuracy I think is really good on this alright I'm not gonna waffle let's just take this out because I know we can we can use the medium X pulses I know that for sure and the TSEMP cannon we can try out the cooling jacket I think is probably a, with the minus one recoil minus 15 percent weapon heat generated that's gonna make the uh, um, putting it on with the uh, Pirate Ultra 20, or sorry, Pirate Rack 20, a great possibility. So let's go this route. Alright, what do we get? Raven part, Raptor part. We got the heavy RM <laughs> MRM anyway. Two medium heavy lasers, two medium <laughs> VSPLs, oh my god. Active camouflage, crits, two compact heat sinks. We can get rid of this fire control system standard. I want to keep the half ton incendiary LRM. We don't have any. I'm going to keep it just in case we need to drop a half ton in somewhere. Yeah. All right. Let's continue. All right. 95,000 repairs. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, could have been better. It was an okay mission for my first one back after a week and a half. So anyway, uh, so there's the Victor. Uh, not too bad. I don't know how I feel about that large VSPL. I think we can get a better chance to hit with it. We need to get a uh, weapon and arm mount in there, I think. Um, it definitely needs the arm mount for for bonus accuracy for that weapon. So we'll have to work on that. Um, but I'm going to end this episode here because I want to get a couple of these recorded. So when we come back next time, we'll take the main lance out, uh, take a harder mission, see what we can do um, before moving off this planet. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here. Once again, apologize for being away for so long, but hope you're enjoying the episodes. If you do, uh, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.